turning to specific examples, we get to talk about everyone's favorite case, Panawatt, which I believe is now on my outline for the third year row, third year in a row on this uh, panel. And I know everyone in, I'm sure, this room knows well what it is, but I was speaking to a group of uh, corporate directors last week and I said Panawatt and not a single person nodded. And I realized that there is a world outside of our own that people are not following these things quite so closely. And so, as I'm sure all of you know, we've now reached the jury verdict phase. Panawatt was convicted of ins insider trading from the jury, and that's a case where he bought stock in a competitor of his company before his company announced it was going to be acquired by a much larger company on the theory that any competitor in the same space, the stock was going to go up. It was correct. The stock did did go up, and we've been talking about Panawatt for three, you know, about three years since. So, uh, Dan, I wanted to start with with you. Um, how do you think the SEC views what's been termed this uh, shadow trading theory? And you know, my question is: is is this really new? 